Hello fellas, hope you're all fine. Uh, in this video I'm working with the gas sensor. Most probably you have seen in the hotels or somewhere that uh, there is a gas sensor and it just detects the gas and the smoke. And if there is any gas and smoke somewhere then it will make an alarm. Today we are designing that system in the Tinkercad and you can follow exactly these steps in the real world and implement it. I'll just log into your Tinkercad account and create a new circuit. Okay, and let's give a name, gas sensor, and uh, it. we are using buzzer here as the output device to make an alarm. The components we need, the first thing is of course an Arduino board. And then we need a, and then we need a big board. Big board is small, we can put it here. Okay, as the input component, we can use the gas sensor. Here it is. Okay, as uh, as the output component, we can use a buzzer. Here's your buzzer. Let me take this one and I just connect it here. Okay, how it will work? Uh, firstly, the gas, the gas sensor will detect the gas and if the density of the gas is too high then this buzzer will make an alarm so everybody will know that there is a fire somewhere and everybody can take action so let's do the connections the color should be red for the power okay and from the ground we can connect this one to the ground so let's connect it here. The color should be black. And arrange it. It's better to have a clean wall. Okay, and uh, this pin is A2, and, we, and this sensor actually is a, an analog sensor. So we should connect this one to this, one of these analog pins, A0. The color can be Green, that is fine. Okay, and uh, this one we connect this one to the ground. The color should be black. A one also can uh, we connect it to the ground, but uh, let's connect it with the with the resistor. And this one to this one. Black. Okay. And these three other pins are connected to the power. Wait. Wait. And wait. Okay. We have connected our sensor. Now we need to connect the output device, which is a buzzer. This pin negative, we connect this one to the ground. And the positive one we can connect to one of these digital pins, seven. Okay, now we are done with the connection and let's go to the coding. I click on the codes and uh, delete this default blocks here. We don't need to code, we can use the blocks for the both of them and we have the blocks here. Uh, okay, firstly we need to create a variable. A variable for this one, for this sensor to store a value. Variable, let's say uh, gas sensor, this is the name of our variable. And we set our variable, read, read it from analog pin A0. This, is, this one is connected to this A0. 
our sensor is connected to A0 pin. You can see here. So the volume will be from here. And now we are using simply an F condition to control it and to give the output. Okay, if, if what? We need to add operators here. If our variable, which is the gas sensor, the gas density is uh, higher than, let's say, 300 or 250, then what? Then the output should be play speaker. Which is connected to which pin? Pin 7. Yeah, it's all so simple. Gas sensor. Mm. You can add a comment here. Now it's just ready and let's go start the simulation. I saw the simulation is initializing. Okay, now uh, you can see the density is more than 250 and you can hear the noise. And now the density is low, there's no alarm. When the density is high, higher than 250, then we will have the alarm. Yes, it's all. Uh, thank you very much. Make sure you're subscribing to our channel for more tips and tricks, for more tutorials. And have a good day. Oh, yeah.